last day of me doing the North Downs way. So today I'm going to walk from Canterbury to Dover. Spent the night at the youth hostel in Canterbury and uh, can find the trail again and then head off into the fields and see what we find today. That's it, I'm back on the uh, North Downs Way now. I think this road is called Pilgrim's Road or Way or something like that. I thought the Pilgrim way was between Winchester and Canterbury. And this is obviously on the other side. That's a Morning. See another old host house. Staying at Canterbury Way H.A. was an interesting experience. Um, I don't think many of the characters that were there were walkers or cyclists or anything. It seems like uh, most of them just use it as a cheap B&B &B really, which to be honest, I find a bit sad. When I used to go youth hostel when I was a teenager, you weren't allowed to drive your car to the hostel. If you drove there, they'd turn you away. You had to walk or cycle. And it used to be full of youngsters that were walking, trekking, and uh, yeah, you got many nationalities. It was a lot more basic back in those days, and uh, you had to do a little job. And I find it a bit sad, really, that most of the people you find in in them are sort of older folk, a bit like me. Maybe the whole ethos of it has, has gone. I want to guess it's had to change, hasn't it? With, with changing trends or whatever. But, yeah, I find it a little bit sad. I think when you go to youth hostels, sort of, in the lakes or something like that, obviously you get more walkers and people like that there. But, uh, I stayed at Canterbury when I was... 16, something like that, and it was very different, very different, but there we are, maybe it's progress, it's, uh, it's a fine day again, there's a bit of a cool breeze blowing, but uh, it's a little more cloudy, but uh, there's still blue skies, so as all the promises of another beautiful day. That to me is typical of a Sussex or Kent church tower. Again, you can see it's flint. So there's more orchards here. It definitely is a fruitful part of the country. The path I'm following now runs along the side of the A2. I had to cross it last time, but fortunately this time I'm just walking along beside it. I don't have to actually go across. Walking across this cabbage field seems to go on forever and ever. Look 
cabbages, cabbages, as far as you can see. Well, assume they're cabbages. So I've walked, just walked across yet another massive field. Now this one seems to be uh, full of grass. But to be honest, it's not the most inspiring, but it's okay. But it has got great views. Look at this. Unfortunately, <laughs> the views were behind me. Been uh, a lot of straight paths, not a lot of variety in them. The last few miles. I think that might be a little mouse hole or a vole. Still, the fruit has been eaten. now come to the village of Woman's Wold. Hmm. Make what you will of that name. Made it to the village of Shepherd's Well. About the past seven miles, there's been signposts going five miles, four and a half miles, three miles. It's like never ending getting there. But anyway, I made it now, and this is the this is the little church. Another Flintstone church. It's calling it. And I'm going to sit in here and have my lunch. Yeah, it's quiet. I mean, you wouldn't want to be out there with you on a day like this. No. But it's icy cold, is it, isn't it? You yeah. keep you warm, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, when I'm walking, it's, it's fine. <laughs> but, uh... So you live in Canterbury? I live in Leicester. Leicester? Yeah. You haven't walked all the way from Leicester, have you? No. <laughs> no, people, there's... Um... Some people come through, you know, they walk miles. Man, yeah, that's yeah. Well, that was a really cool lunch break. Two old boys, I guess they're locals, come and have a chat with me. One of them uh, wanted to know if I needed to use his loo, or if, um, if I wanted my flask refill him with hot water. That's really, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Still people like that around. Anyway, what they have done also is solved my quandary about the Pilgrim Way. And apparently there is um, a Pilgrim Walk that starts at Canterbury and goes all the way to Rome. And in the summer they said they get quite a few people stopping there at the church, making their way all the way to Rome. So that's, uh, that's it, that's what the Pilgrim way is on this side. That's pretty major, isn't it? Walking all that way. More cabbage fields. Huge. 
bet this is spooky at night. Ooh. Definitely makes you think the best thing to be done is be cremated. Look at the size of that yew tree. Wow. Awesome. Says this church is no longer used. Now crossing over the A428, I think it is. Dual carriage one. Rover's getting nearer. There's another bit of Pilgrim's Lane. Where do you ever get ghosts coming up and down here? I think this is my last major road crossing. Fortunately, it started raining a bit. Hopefully, it will pass. Be gone soon. Four o'clock on a Tuesday. The place is dead. Just think nothing happening. Hardly anybody around. Anyway, very nearly at sea front now. That's it, finished it. Finished the North Downs Way. Brilliant, great. Uh, what can I say? It's definitely been different to what I expected. Not much suburbia, which I thought there would be. But there's plenty of really nice woodland, some great views, and it's very varied as well. You know, a lot more varied than what I thought it would be. And there's lots of interesting places and things along the way, especially if you like history. But I've, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. found it a lot better than what I thought it would be. So there you go. If you followed me all the way through with it, thanks a lot. Uh, if you haven't, it's all there. I've got videos of every part of it. So if you're looking at it and thinking, oh, should I do this? Then um, yeah, check out my videos and see what you think. Thanks for being with us. It's, uh, Good to have got it done.